Hello everyone, I'm Al from alvalentine.co and today we're unboxing the Logitech wireless trackpad for Mac. Now I've wanted a trackpad for a while since I stopped having a MacBook Pro around last year, but I also wanted something that kind of fits the rest of the thing and doesn't cost a fortune like the Apple one. So I went for this. It just arrived, so let's get straight in. Got a nice old pull tab. There we go. Not the heaviest of boxes. Actually, sturdily packed. Turn that around, and there it is. Actually, surprisingly hefty. Oh well, let's get rid of the cardboard bit. Okay, now as you can see, it uses Bluetooth, and it's for the Mac. Now, unfortunately, I really, really wanted the black version. But Logitech, and all of their glorious wisdom, decided that the black version should only work on Windows, even though it uses the unifying RF receiver that their mice and keyboards use. Rather bizarre, really. So in fact, you could say it's probably just a money grab. The silver version only works with Macs. The black one, which I wanted to complement my Mac Pro setup and everything else that's black and white, only works with Windows, despite them being hardware identical. So, as we open the box here, there's the trackpad. Actually really nice, quite big, much bigger than my MacBook Pros. Quite a bit of weight to it. So, let's get this open. A lot of, a lot of tape. Packaging reminiscent of Apple's. So we take this out. It's got an on switch, connected Bluetooth, and that's it. You can download Logitech software, in which case you will get a nice bit of things like battery power and things like that. Hmm. It's got a nice little click to it, although... Hmm, it uses the two bottom pads there as buttons for clicking. So when you're actually pressing down on it, it's actually the pads moving in and out as little buttons. That's not really as good as the Apple one where it's mostly the glass. It does mean if you're at the top yeah, it's very hard to click. Now, it does feel like a thin layer of glass. Not much to it. You can see it charges there with a little micro USB. So, you don't really need some AA batteries to actually move around with it. Which makes it handy. And it should have a little, little button at the top there. Not a button really, a little LED to indicate battery life as far as I know. So let's move that out of the way and see what else is in this box. Rather nice floral pattern. Oh, opens really nice. Oh, and there we go. A very, very nice USB cable actually. And uh, it's a pity this wasn't a black trackpad. This would have gone really well with it. This actually looks kind of like it could be an Apple cable. Thin, but sturdy. Logitech labeling on the top there. And there. Not too bad. Quite firm, quite firm indeed. You can see it kind of holds the shape really well. Move that out of the way quickly, pop that back in. So, oh, a setup guide. Bloody hell. Yeah, you don't need this. The back of it, it's got a sticker on. You turn it on, connect it with Bluetooth, you pair it to your Mac, and that's it. You can always download the software as it says there. It even has the address for you, and that's it. That's all you need. The customizability for it, for the trackpad and gestures, is almost identical to the Apple one. Although, I would have preferred if this had a bit more of a tactile feel to it. It's very, very slippery. And it's a pity about the whole button pressing. I wonder how it's going to play with my mouse pad, which is a Steel Series one. So all of this, yeah, you don't need any of this. Warranty stuff, yeah, fine. But this is probably just a whole bunch of different languages. And it shows some gestures in there. But if you download the software, you can set it up just like an Apple one, and if you have a better touch tool, which I do hope you have if you have a Mac, that little piece of software allows you to configure any button around. So, let's move this all around and show you what's all in the box. And there we go folks. That was actually really quick unboxing, but quick and simple. Got the trackpad right there. I'm still a bit iffy about the buttons at the bottom of it, but we'll see how it works. The wired USB cable for charging it. The box, more of the box, and a whole stack of instructions, which you don't need. You just pair it to your device, 
download the software from Logitech and that's it. Once again, I'm quite, quite unhappy by the fact that I couldn't get a black one, but that only works on Windows for some reason. Probably just down to software and Logitech spot trying to make an extra buck making you buy one. So I can't use this in Bootcamp with Windows. And if I do, I can try and use it as a basic generic trackpad. I'll only have movement and clicks, nothing else, no gestures. Rather disappointing. But I do look forward to using this on OS X. And if you want a full written review coming up in about a week, don't forget to check out alvalentine.co. Link is in the bottom, along with a link to Amazon where you can pick this up yourself. I only paid £37. Not too shabby, including free shipping. I hope you enjoyed watching this, and if you do want more Mac hardware, and of course, gaming reviews and previews, like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'm Al. Thanks for watching, everyone. And bye-bye.